Hello, I'm Pastor Dave, and this is our Monday morning sermon recap for Monday, May 23rd, 2022. Here we go. This week we looked at Acts chapter 16, verses 9 through 15. In this passage, Paul has a vision to go to Macedonia, and we hear of his first converts in the town of Philippi. Now, as we look at these verses, we can learn much about God's call in the lives of the faithful. Part of it comes at the very beginning, and that is that God sometimes leads us to unpleasant places. Now, being in the midst of a pastoral change at the moment, I'm not saying that East Salem is an unpleasant place. I'm not saying Clearfield is an unpleasant place. But for Paul, Macedonia may have been an unpleasant place given the history of the Macedonians under Alexander the Great. But whether it's an actual physical place or a new task or a new way of doing ministry, sometimes God calls upon people to places that make them a little uncomfortable to fulfill something greater. But it's not just change for the sake of change, because we all know how much people in the church love change. There's always a reason for it. God gives a purpose or calling someone to a new place, whether it's a new ministry, a new task, or anything else. There's always a reason for the call. There's always a reason for that change in that person's life. And really, this is one of those times we see that God needs us, and God needs us to live out his calling on our lives, because God places people to help fulfill a mission. Sometimes a person has specific talents, skills, gifts, graces that are needed. And sometimes it can create the perfect storm of the right person at the right place with the right talents at the right time, and great things happen. But we have to remember there's a reason God put them there. And part of that reason we can see is when everything lines up, good things happen. We in faith call it bearing fruit, but it is a reminder that God's call has results. If we are fulfilling God's call in our lives and not trying to do other things, we will see the results as Paul did with Lydia and her family. The trick is making sure we're doing what God wants us to do and not simply trying to do what we want to do. But in the end, there's still change. And change is important because we cannot stay put and follow God's call in our lives. Just like there is a change when we come to faith, we have that new birth. There's a change with God's call. For some, it's a dramatic change. It can be a change in location, change in vocation, complete change in their life. For others, it may not be as dramatic, just a change of schedule, a change of something to do. But when we fully live out our discipleship, there is always a change. That happens when we enter and live into God's call in our lives. So I have to ask you, where is God leading you? So that's your recap for this week. Remember, we worship at 845 at East Salem, 1015 at Otterbein, and we live stream the East Salem service at 845 on the East Salem UMC Facebook page. But until next Sunday, I'm Pastor Dave, and I hope to see you in the pews.